Canvas for Android running on Samsung Galaxy S4. I'd like to spend a few minutes uh, demonstrating the Canvas for Android version 1.3 build 19 uh, running on Samsung Galaxy S4. And uh, I want to talk about a few of the features uh, that this application includes. So the home screen by default will take you to the streams mode and you see at the very top here you've got a drop down arrow that gives you access to additional options. So if I click on this, in this case it says stream or to do, so you can toggle back and forth between the different views. Hard to show this and see what I'm uh, showing you here on the screen. But if you tap on the left hand side of the screen you're given some additional options. And so we're going to look very briefly at each one of those. Now I'm assuming that this is for teachers only. I'm curious to know if there's a similar application for students. If they can in fact uh, sign into this or download the same application but sign in with their own account if they're given the same information from the student view. Uh, but we'll have to look into that and if you are watching this video and know the answer to that, uh, please uh, let me know. So let's take a look at courses. Now I just select the courses option and these are the courses that I currently have in my account in Canvas. Again this is Canvas uh, in structure. Instructure.com is the company, and uh, this is the Android version. Again, if I click the down arrow at the top where it says My Courses, uh, you're given two options, My Courses and All Courses. So I guess if you're taking courses, uh, those will appear. But uh, I'm just interested now in uh, My Courses that I'm offering. So I'm going to look at Applied Linguistics because this has uh, more information at the moment than the other courses. And so by default, you're taken to the schedule option. Again, clicking on the drop down arrow, we have here schedule, people, discussions, files, pages, and announcements. So if I click, if I click here on syllabus, then the, you're able to view the entire syllabus. And if I, I can scroll down here and uh, show, I can show you all of the uh, content currently in the syllabus for this course. And uh, it's kind of hard to show you where I tapped, but it was basically right here where it says syllabus. So if you click there, you're taken directly to the syllabus. If you click underneath future here, first day of class will take you to the uh, discussion. Again, there's not much information there, but this is just a, a calendar event, actually. Um, and that appears here. So if you have a midterm, basically any types of uh, activities that are coming up that are included in the calendar, those will appear here under future. So that's kind of uh, a nice view here going into the course for the first time. Now I'm going to click uh, people underneath schedule and here you have a list of all the students that I currently have for the course. So I can scroll down here. So on this side here in the corner you have an email icon so you can uh, send emails to your students which is kind of nice. You can do all this directly from your your phone instead of having to have access to your desktop computer or your laptop. So again I have here a list of, of all my students that are currently enrolled for this course. So moving right along here, I, the next option below people is discussion. So if I click that option, these are the discussions currently uploaded to this course. And you can access those directly, so it's nice. And in this case, uh, this has, it's, there's an embedded code. So it's linking to a document that I have in Google Drive. It's a presentation, so I link it. I link most of my discussions or lectures is what I'm referring to is uh, presentations that uh, that I use in Google Docs and then that information is automatically updated in the Canvas uh, in the Canvas website. So here you actually are able to see the presentation I uploaded in Google Docs running through Canvas the website 
and I'm accessing it obviously uh, in this Android app. So that's kind of nice. Again, I hope all of this information is available for the students and uh, it's one thing to be able to access it as a teacher, but um, it'd be nice if the students can access uh, the same information from their mobile device. So moving right along, I'm going to click Files. Again, I'm just scrolling down the different options here at the very top of uh, the screen. And um, at this point, just uh, looks like I just have a couple of files here at the moment. So I just click there, and, you're ex and uh, you have access to the files. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to access Pages. These are all the pages that I've created so far for Applied Linguistics. This is the front page. As you see, it defaults to the front page. And I'm going to click up here and see if this lists the rest of the pages. No, it goes back to courses. So let me go back to pages. So that kind of took me back out of uh, the whole course. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to Pages for this course, Applied Negacy, and I just about dropped my phone. Okay, I'm still getting used to uh, the Galaxy S4. I've been uh, using the uh, tablet, the 7-inch tablet by Samson for the last two years, so I'm still trying to uh, adapt to, to this device. So these are the pages again for the course, and I can scroll down here and see the front page. And I'm wondering if I can access, how to access the rest of the pages. Mm. How about here? And that's it. Okay, let me show you what I did here. At the top, on my left-hand side, right here in the corner, you see a little icon, a book icon. And if you click on that icon, this will take you to all the pages that are... Uh, associated to this course. And so now you see a list here. I have pages, and I'm naming the pages week one, week two for now. But, and you see the front page at the top, but these are all the pages for this course. And again, I can access, just click on it, and go into the actual pages. Now, currently there's not a lot of information there, but this is taking you to the different pages. And back arrow should take you back, and it does. So that's nice. So again, from this view, clicking on this icon here in the corner, this will take you to the various pages. If you click over here where it says front page, this arrow here, this will take you out, again, out of the whole, the whole course, which is a little strange, actually. But it, and nonetheless, it, uh, doing that takes you back to the list of all the courses, so then you have to go back and enter into the course. So I'll probably be making a lot of mistakes there, jumping out of the course inadvertently, but... Anyway, that's, that's Pages. Last option here is Announcements. And you can see, again, what class I'm in by the abbreviation AL, again, Implied Linguistics. This is all within the same course. And you see my Announcements. And you can click on here and see the content of that announcement. And I can go back here in the left hand side of the screen if I click on this left arrow this is kind of a breadcrumb that will take you back not out of the course but to the prior screen I would recommend probably just using the, da the back arrow here at the bottom uh, just as a habit just so you don't accidentally jump out of the course because it will take you out of the course at this point once I click here this is telling you that it's in applied linguistics and this is the last breadcrumb, I said, or the first breadcrumb, I guess, for this course. So if you click on this left arrow here, this will take you out of the course. So this middle section, again, the drop-down menu gives you all of the options where you can access all the different types of content for your course. And it looks like this plus arrow here gives you an option of adding content. Let's see what that gives you. Okay, so if you want to add a new announcement, this will give you an option to do that. So again, this left arrow here will allow you to add announcement. This is nice. This is, um, I'll probably be using this app a lot this semester as all my courses are in Canvas and so it's good to know that I can access uh, most of the content and add content as I need to from 
this uh, mobile device. So let me look at one more thing here under discussions. Again, you have the add arrow. So you can add a discussion here as you need to, again, from the device itself. Okay, let's look at a couple more things here before we sum this up. So on the main screen, there's another option for inbox, so you can access your emails. And uh, it's taken me to a tutorial. This is the first time I've accessed it, so you're given a tutorial. And I'm just going to exit that. And here's the option for sending an email. If you click on the down arrow, you're given additional options, unread and archive, compose message. Okay, so you can access your emails. Okay, so we've looked at stream, courses, and inbox. Now below that, we have access to grades. I have not begun to teach this course, so there are no grades, but I assume that once grades are uploaded, I should be able to access those from here, and I'll later see if I can actually grade uh, within this application. That would be nice if I can grade students' work from this app, but I'll test that once uh, information has been uploaded. So the final thing to check out here is settings. So I'll click on settings, and I have here profile, Canvas info, and logout. So here you can look at my profile that I uploaded in Canvas. Maybe. Well, that's about it. I guess that's all there is. And Canvas. Again, this is version 1.3 build 19. This is Canvas for Android running on Samsung Galaxy S4. If you uh, know if the same application can be used for students, uh, please respond to the comments below. And I'd be curious to know how the student's version uh, compares to what I've shown today. Uh, again, this is uh, I'm signing in as the instructor for these courses and uh, would uh, definitely be interested in seeing how the students can access the same information, hopefully from a, a mobile device. And hopefully there's an app for both Android and Mac. So if you do know of any other applications for Canvas, specifically for students, uh, please respond. And thanks for watching.